Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the GrandStream UCM. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. Today, in part two, I'm going to show you how to capture network packets simultaneously from both the GrandStream UCM and a GrandStream phone for troubleshooting calls or registration issues. I will then be merging the two or three captures together to show you how useful it is to have a packet capture from both ends of the conversation to rule out communication issues caused by incorrect SIPNAT settings, SIP-aware firewalls, SIP trunk providers, etc. First, log into the GUI of the UCM, then go to Maintenance, Network Troubleshooting, and start an Ethernet capture on the UCM. Next, log into the phone's GUI that you will be recreating the issue from. For a GrandStream phone, this is typically under Maintenance, Packet Capture. If you want the phone to also capture audio packets, then you would change the setting for RTP packets from No to Yes. Next, click the Start button and then reproduce your issue. As you can see in the example, the phone is now showing as in a call, indicated by the red handset icon. When you are finished reproducing the issue, click the Stop button on the phone. Then go back to the UCM and click the Stop button there also. Next, download the PCAP files from both the UCM and phone. Extract these PCAP files into a folder so that they can be merged together easily. In our example, the phone split the packet capture into two files. So first, open the PCAP file from the UCM using Wireshark. Next, merge the first file from the phone with the UCM's PCAP. You will need to save this first merged file before you can merge the second PCAP file from the phone. Now that you have all three files merged together, you have an accurate representation of the entire conversation between the UCM and the phone. While having a packet capture from both ends is not always viable or even necessary when the devices are on the same network subnet, this process is extremely helpful when the two devices are separated by VPNs, the internet, or even different local subnets. Next, go to the telephony menu to see what information has been captured. I always check under the VoIP calls option first to see the list of calls that were captured. As you can see in the example, one of the calls was rejected while the other two calls were completed. As the rejected call was to an outside number, you will want to select the call and check the flow sequence first. Since this capture has both sides of the communication, there is some repetition here. But as you can see, the cause given for the rejected call was 480 temporarily unavailable. By clicking on this line in the call flow, it will take you directly to that specific packet in the main display. In the main display, you can then drill down into the packet for more information. This particular packet was sent by the UCM and shows a reason of Q850, cause equals 34. This generally means the issue is with the trunk being used, so you would then want to check that your SIP trunk settings are correct or contact your trunk provider for further troubleshooting. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. 
If you have any questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamic salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.